from Orcas, I think, too. <coughs> so, gentlemen, please become ready. So for the people that are currently coming to the live okay, stream, one team ready. it's 11.15 here in Berlin. We had awesome weather a couple of hours ago and now it's typical Berlin weather. So the game started. Uh, I can't actually see who has the ball because a cluster built almost instantly. But the, the people from Newark have has the ball. They are trying to advance slowly to the basket of Barcelona and trying to break their defense as fast as they can. So uh, I have no real predictions here uh, uh, about the outcome, um, but I guess uh, uh, Newark, oh. yeah, Newark is a more aggressive team, and they scored already. But they are pretty big too in comparison to the people yeah. from Barcelona. But well, the the, the size and the weight, uh, if you cannot put it into movement, but but Newark yeah. uh, can do this. We saw them play quite fast and aggressive mm -hmm. uh, in the water. So uh, one zero after uh, two minutes. One minute and fifteen seconds. It's still pre-round for them. Uh, so we play 10 minutes. And after 50 minutes we saw in the game Orcas Langen. Now we have an uh, attack from the Newark again uh, from the open side. Uh, the ball is right in front of the basket. And they're doing the same thing as that they did in the last attack. They're trying to come in from the close side, really yeah. hard push on the goalkeeper and there's one uh, player always waiting behind or in the open side. They're also changing a lot of outside, outside. so they're like passing the ball so that the, so that the defense cannot see where he needs to be actually. Yeah, and they are fast pass, dangerous passes uh, into the uh, defense zone of uh, <coughs> Spain. And uh, the ball drops down here, no recovered by okay. Spain, and they, they go really fast for the American uh, basket. Whoa. That could have been a chance uh, to score, but uh, before the Spanish player could throw the ball over the head of the goalkeeper, it was snatched away by an US player. And now US is in counter-attack, called by the referee. <coughs> it's a free throw against Spain. Do you know why? Um, no, I didn't see it. Probably uh, holding without oh. ball. Vogen. Ah, okay, yeah, strangling uh, while uh, di while in the uh, forechecking. So Newark in ball possession on the close side of the Spanish uh, basket. <coughs> Take a look at how patient they are. They need to to get in in position and then they attack with all they have. And Spain is defending really really good yeah they did the whole uh, tournament through they showed uh, quite nice defense call from the referee guess was holding <laughs> white white number one white warning stop oh. that okay warning number one white <laughs> so number one of the Spanish team uh, had a warning for rough playing. Uh, now we see how the guy from Newark tried to snatch the basket from the... I see white here team. the shoulder of the goalkeeper in the basket. Yeah, pretty deep in there. Okay. If uh, he has his <coughs> shoulder in the basket while he's under attack, uh, he risks a penalty against him. Yeah. <coughs> Newark is in the corner again. Uh, building up uh, their positions to attack. Ball is on the bottom, on the close side. 
It's one zero lead, five minutes thirty left. No, three guys from New York are attacking at the same time the the basket, but call from the referee, yeah. she's pointing a thing on a New York player. Free yeah, it's a against blue oh. holding. Holding without ball, so free throw against, against New York. It's a chance for uh, Barcelona to get out of their half, into the half of uh, the the Americans. Call from the referee. Uh, strangling. strangling. Okay. Free throw again for free Barcelona. For those who are just starting to see the live chat, um, Barcelona is a little hard to play against New York. The um, Americans are playing con mucha fuerza, el primer gol lo hicieron al minuto con 15 segundos, entraron con toda por el lado que no había defensa y sacaron al portero la verdad muy fácil, pero en este momento se puede ver que también los de Barcelona están tratando de anotar ese otro punto que necesitan para empatar y están tratando de pasar por esa defensa tan masiva que tiene Newark. So there is another cluster on the surface, but Newark has the ball. They are counter-attacking, but they got stopped in the middle. We see a pass from Newark and then another attack from the open side. They came right uh, straight from uh, the op open pool into the goalkeeper. Oh. Oh, the the, power, the the goal was empty. Oh, that was a the, really the, mistake the from the... goalkeeper left... Uh, uh, his position went up and there was no relief uh, keeper coming down and uh, the new one player was right uh, above uh, the Spanish basket and received the ball and had just to turn around and throw it down. So it's a uh, 2-0 lead now. And Spain is in attack mode now. They have to throw in everything they have uh, with a 2-0 lead of Newark. Um, they have at least scored twice to go into penalties and do three goals to win this game. So they have to put everything they have into the basket. But we have a, a s cluster on the surface. But they got again the, the ball and they are counter-attacking. They, are, they have a good position and they Oh, this could be a chance. It. This was a nice attack on the open side, uh, on the wall side of the New York basket. But before the player, the Spanish player, could push the ball in, he was torn away by New York. So in these one-on-one -on -one fights, New York seems uh, um, to be the stronger team. They uh, almost every time they go out of these... Uh, for checking fights uh, with the ball. It's, it's uh, difficult for Spain to overcome the superior weight and reach <coughs> of the New York players. We're in the middle of the pool. Both teams lo lost the ball. They're Th struggling to get there. It's, uh, it took the, the uh, counter-attacker of Spain too long to find a, a station he can throw the ball to. Uh, so no, of his, no one of his players was in reach. What's going now on? we have uh, <laughs> one Spanish player coming from the open side. And there is a Spanish player uh, stealing away the basket from the US. But they didn't succeed because they were tackled away. And we're on the close side of the pool, in the middle of the pool. Uh, New York in ball position attacked by a uh, Spanish player. But Newark succeeds in going forward and is in the corner close to the Spanish basket. So Newark is trying here to score again. They are trying to take the Spanish defense out of there and they are attacking from the open side. But they got. If if no, uh, um, uh, the, the, uh, what what is surprising me in the defense of uh, Spain, 
Um, they let Newark get quite close to the basket uh, on at least at one side all the time. And uh, this, with the superior weight of Newark, um, it's really dangerous if they are in ball position and uh, have a chance to attack that close to the basket. So now so Newark coming from their usual side. <laughs> They're coming from above now, trying to get over the ba basket and pull and push the ball to the player waiting uh, down under the basket. But this time the goalkeeper uh, from Barcelona intercepted uh, the pass. End of the first half, New York is leading 2-0. Oh, this is a really tough match for the Barcelona people. Yeah, well, but it, it's, it's no surprise actually. Um, uh, we knew the New York players are a little bit more uh, aggressive, more yeah. uh, uh, faster, and uh, the, the killer instinct on the on the US side is much bigger than on the uh, Spanish side. So it's it's not that big surprise. Mm -hmm. New York is leading. So the the chances for uh, Spain. Uh, to win this match is are really small. The yeah. only thing they can do is throw everything forward, risking to catch another uh, goal. But <coughs> if they lose this uh, game 2-0 or 5-0, it doesn't matter. But the only chance they have to go in force forward and uh, to score. And uh, the the I guess the only possibility they have to go with all they have forward probably leave one goalkeeper um, behind. And try to score. Yeah, generally. and try to score with everyone they have. If they want to do that, they need to have a pretty good forechecking because they cannot leave that goalkeeper a long time alone. Because that those are the chances that Newark use. Yeah, that, but but what, like I said, uh, the in in the case uh, Newark is scoring, well, Barcelona will lose this game 3-0. Yeah. Maybe Barcelona will lose this game 5-0. It doesn't matter; they lose. So, but if they throw everything they have forward and, uh, and score those two points, exactly, they need to score. Defending is not helping them in yeah. any way. But it's uh, easier said than done. <laughs> it's just a view we have here uh, outside the pool. Yep. Bueno, para los que apenas están entrando, eh, Barcelona ha tenido un partido demasiado difícil. Los de Newark están jugando muy agresivo y están tratando de romper la defensa cada vez que llegan a, al arco. Eh, en sí, Barcelona en este momento lo único que puede hacer es tratar de atacar y meter esos dos puntos que que necesita para poder empatar porque en verdad defender no les, no les trae nada en este momento si no hacen esos dos puntos no importa si pierden 3 a 0, 4 a 0, 5 a 0 de todas formas perderían pero necesitan hacer esos puntos You have to say it to the protocol table. We can start Watson. Okay. So teams become ready. Blue ready. White ready. So and here we go again. The blue team has the ball. They are starting to struggle with Barcelona in the middle. But Barcelona couldn't keep the ball at his side. Newark is starting to attack the Barcelona, but they managed to snatch the ball from them away. Now Barcelona is trying to counter-attack them with a lot of fast passes, but they always get blocked in the middle by the big new old new work players. So uh, one minute already in the second half and uh,
Mati, do you see uh, they go forward with everything they have or do they play safe? Does Barcelona still defend or is it... No, d they are actually trying to make those, those points. They were pretty close uh, in this first minute to the New York okay, basket. Okay. But they didn't manage to like get those passes away from the New York players. They got snatched almost instantly. So with the 2-0 lead, uh, New York is quite on the safe side. They can play uh, with time, and uh, but uh, the way they play, there's like here we can see they go still go for uh, more goals. Um, yeah, they are going for the kill. Yeah, they're going really into uh, the basket now of Barcelona, which is now on the right side. And it's you see it when when these New York players are uh, going in the. The body mass they bring into the fight around the basket is uh, superior to the Spanish one. Even though uh, Spain is attacking them around the basket relentlessly now, but they not they don't succeed in getting breaking free and getting away from their own basket. And the longer they are under pressure, the higher the chances uh, they will catch a goal. Seven minutes, 30 left. And the ball is on the open side. And we can see Newark trying to snatch the ball again from the Barcelona players. Call from the referee. This closer was pretty dangerous for both teams. Free throw against Barcelona. Time out wide. Barcelona called a timeout. Time out wide. Maybe they are going to change their strategy. Well, they, they should because uh, the, the way they play right now, um, they have to break free, they have to go forward. Um, and they need to, to score. That's the only thing they need to do at the moment. <laughs> Actually, yes. <laughs> Defending is quite good, but they have to go forward. Like we said, it's, it, it, it's easy saying he's sitting here yeah. in our uh, comfortable <laughs> box. <laughs> and uh, uh, taking the head and time out for wide. So Camillo is giving them a prep talk. No, Camillo is out of the game. Is he out? Yeah, he was walking uh, uh, out right oh. here. Yeah. Gentlemen, we will start again. <laughs> Calling the players gentlemen is a nice touch. <laughs> How would you call them? Players? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> People. Okay, there's a newer player uh, behind uh, the Spanish uh, goalkeeper. They snatch and already uh, the basket. That's a d dangerous situation and the, the ball did reach the, uh, the one behind the Spanish goalkeeper, but he was... Uh, ball over the surface. Ball was over the surface. Oh, okay. Ball over the surface. Ah, I, f I understood ball over the face. <laughs> Didn't get it. Ball over the surface. Six minutes left. It's it, it, Spain doesn't make uh, the, the 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 or it's not able to do the move to break out of this constant attack from New York and the New York has them fixed on their basket. Yeah, by by pressing, by constantly pressing, mm -hmm. and it's a uh, it's amazing that Spain can hold. Uh, against them so long without oh. risking a goal. Now is there a chance go. for Spain to go out of this uh, uh, this attack. Oh, that pass was not so good. Clinch, they're okay. in. Oh, there's one Spanish player who was uh, all alone uh, on, the, on the bottom. That's but now chance. three players from Spain are around the New World basket. But it took them too long. It was this, they, they stopped in front of the uh, Oh, American up. basket, and it took them too long to to go in and to make the right pass yeah. to the right player. Yeah. yeah. So 
So hello to America. If you are watching us, uh, if you are in the live stream, uh, give us a give us a sign. I'm sure there are people watching from America uh, for their uh, team competing here in the Champions Cup 2017. Hello, America. How are you doing there? What time is it uh, over there? Uh, probably we have uh, Daniel New oh. in the live stream too. It, uh, it's too easy for Newark to stop the attacks. Oh, and there's an empty basket. Oh, no. <laughs> that was really close. And uh, the, the player from uh, Spain hesitated. He was just one and a half meters probably away from the basket. And it, he hesitated for a break of a second <sighs> before he started swimming. And he wasn't sure what was happening. But you shouldn't. You should always go chance. for the basket. Uh, if it's empty, even there was a call from the referee, there's a head of the goalkeeper and the basket, and it wasn't possible for uh, the Spanish player to score, so uh, I would have called. Man, that's disappointing. Yeah, there was, there was really a nice chance. Basket. Hmm, interesting. I saw the head of the goalkeeper in the basket and would have mm. called it. So Newark again around the basket of Spain, one-on-one -on -one fight uh, on the open side, and uh, Spanish and American players waiting under the cluster, building up. Three minutes thirty-eight left. You can see how the um, the Newark people are taking their time for the attacks. They yeah, yeah, they get in position, wait until everybody's in position, yeah, and they then they go the situation. in. Yeah. And then they go in with really much speed. Yeah. And if it's not happening, they uh, solve it, go out again, and rebuild again. There was pushing, I guess, on the basket. In the basket, yeah. The, the one player of Newark was trying yeah, to snatch the basket. That's, that's at least a uh, free throw against free throw Newark. Against mm. blue, ball. So and there you go again. They are building again a cluster. And Newark has snatched the ball from all the players. They are trying to go and reach the basket to score more points. But Barcelona is actually keeping them away from the basket at this moment. Two minutes, 33 left. Oh, again from the open side. And Spain is in ball possession, going uh, from uh, the open side of the pool, trying to swim through the pool, stopped by uh, one Newark player. But here we have three players from Barcelona going forward, and they should, thro should throw everything. Could we have a camera change, please? Thank oh, you. Uh, they should throw everything forward they have uh, now at least to score one goal. If they can steal that basket and get the ball, they have a pretty good chance to make it. They go in with force, but they stop. They they don't know how to use. They hesitate. Yeah. They oh, we have a counter oh. attack of one oh. player. But well, that's that's the risk uh, I was talking about. Uh, they have to to open up uh, their uh, goal to be able to go forward with a with a strength needed to score against Newark. Yeah, they and need to do some compromise, compromise the def the defense, but go full on attack. Yeah. Time out, blue. blue. Okay. Ah, oh, that that was they really disappointing from Barcelona. Point they didn't make that that point yeah. with yeah. the. They should empty at least basket. have uh, one goal, and it would have given them a good feeling out of yeah. this game. It's always different if we leave a game uh, with at least one score uh, than uh, a zero. We know that. Yeah. <laughs> So I have new information from
So, gentlemen, we will start again. Here we go, one minute, uh, 22 left. It's a 3 0. We can see that Barcelona is going all in for this. Yeah. Score at least one. Yeah. You will not win this game, Barcelona. But they lose the ball, and Newark is in ball possession. Very well played by the Newark players. Uh, they dominated uh, the the biggest part of the game mm -hmm. around the Spanish uh, basket and in the open pool. 50 seconds left. Time is ticking. So, but still, there's a they they want to score <laughs> again. There's one <laughs> player waiting at the basket, even though they could play it cool. Um, th this game is uh, one for Newark, and it puts. But they are actually burning time at the moment. Look, they are not really attacking the Barcelona, but they are just keeping the ball in their possession. And it puts Newark from America on place number nine, and Barcelona on place ten. Ten. Well, that was it, people. So at the moment, the, the results we have is Molde 5th, Ege 6th, yes. Newark 9th, Barcelona 10th. Exactly. 